Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the Summerlin 2820BH. It's a beautiful bunkhouse model, nice big super slide on here too. And this particular model we're going to go over is in the espresso interior. Let's start off on the kitchen. Uh, so you actually have decent countertop space. You know, you have a little over to the side of the sink here, and then you have some additional space right over here. You also have a large single bowl sink with the high rise pull out faucet. Myself, I personally like having a single bowl sink, especially if you like to camp with residential pots and pans. It's a lot easier to fit them down in here. If you're, you know, if you're uh, concerned about washing and rinsing dishes, Again, myself, I'll just get like a little plastic container from uh, Meyer, Walmart, something like that. Stick it in there, fill it up with water, and you can use that for uh, your wash water. But either way, again, I like having the big sink. It is personal preference. Right over here to the side is your Atwood cooktop. Three burner cooktop there, the front one being high output. Right underneath, you have an oven in case you want to do some baking. You have a little stainless steel looking panel here on the front as well. Take a quick look at some of the storage underneath. I want to start right up front. This is kind of cool. As soon as you walk in, you know, you got uh, this guy right here. If you take a peek in there, that's really great. Uh, for me, again, personally, what I would do is I'd use this as shoe storage, right? You walk in, you kick your flip-flops off your shoes, you throw them right in there. You're not crowding up the way. And those are the ones you don't get to very often. You actually have another one right over here we'll uh, take a look at a little bit more, which is way better. But, uh, you know, for the ones that maybe uh, rain boots, things like that, that's a perfect spot for them right there. Over here to the side, you also have two large pull-out drawers. You can see that there. You know, again, whatever else you need to stick in there, feel free to do so. Uh, right along the side, you have this pull-out drawer here. This is probably where your silverware would go. Obviously, you can do whatever you want there, but that's a nice compartment. Little cutout underneath there, too. Same thing, little cutout underneath the sink and a larger compartment down below. This is big enough that you can set a small trash can down in there. Um, right up top here, you see you have two electrical outlets, one right here, one over the other side. You also have some controls here, your tank monitoring panel, as well as your water heater. Now notice this does have gas and electric on there. You can turn both of them on at the same time for higher recovery. Fully functional hood right here with a light and fan. That is, as you would expect, directly over your cooktop. Above that, your microwave stainless steel front there. Here's the weight, 6,680 pounds. Then all the way across, you have some storage. You got some right over there. And then you have more to the other side right over here. Moving down a little bit further, you'll see right here, two full extension drawers. If you don't want your silver in that end one, you can put them here. Uh, you know, some other things, serving utensils, other accessories. This is some stuff, uh, you have a sink strainer, a little bathroom thing, some stuff for your, uh, your bathroom there, toilet paper holder, all that good stuff. Uh, it's just tucked away there. Fridge freezer combo right over here. You can see how nice and large this is. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over for you, but sufficient cold storage. One of my favorite parts about the camper is right here. Take a look at this. You get this nice extra wardrobe. Far too often in bunk, or bunk models like this, especially the rear corner models, you don't have very much hanging space for the kids' clothes. Not the case here. Nice big uh, hanging rod there. And you have two large drawers here underneath. So plenty of space for the kiddos. Back in the corner is the bathroom. I'll open this up for you. Uh, you can see right down here, foot flush lever toilet, plenty of leg room there all the way around. Uh, right in front of it is the door. So I like having a second entrance on here. This one, as, as you will notice, uh, goes directly into the bathroom. So you can use the bathroom and head right back out so you're not traipsing dirt throughout the entire RV. Uh, over to this side here is your tub shower. This is great to have a tub in a bunk unit because if you have smaller kids, you can easily give them a bath. Uh, you see you have your uh, little shelf there, hand wand, and a skylight up top, as well as a uh, curved shower rail for your curtain. Now on the other side of the door, mirrored medicine cabinet, some storage right back here. Right beneath that, you have the sink, electrical outlet, and some additional storage there underneath. 
The back corner is where the two bunks are located. In the industry, this is what we call a double over a double, referring to the fact that these are both double wide bunks. Uh, myself, again, personally, I really like having the double wide bunks for a couple different reasons. One, generally you have a higher weight limit. You have 300 pound weight capacity on here. So if you have older children, like teenagers that are going, they can still come with you. And if you have younger children, you're able to fit two children per bed, which is really convenient. The other thing I love about this, not only do you have a window and light both top and bottom bunk, you also have electrical outlets on both the top and bottom. Now I know that when you go camping, you don't go to bring your electronics and have your kids hold up inside, but on those rainy days when you don't have a choice, having the kids be entertained and not bugging you is 100% worth it. Uh, I know myself, I will spend a very high amount of money to be able to have my kids be entertained and not bugging me. So uh, I do like that they have put those in there. Ladder right here to be able to climb up into the bed. Again, you know, it seems like a small thing. I'm sure it doesn't cost the manufacturer a whole lot to put it in here, but having that ladder is a big bonus. Otherwise, if you have smaller children, you know, the smaller kids tend to want to sleep on the top bunk. They're the ones that want to be up there. And it's hard for them to get up. They have to step on a bed, be able to try to launch themselves up and in. Having the ladder just makes that process a whole heck of a lot easier. Right over to the side here is the super slide. Nice and big, you have your dinette. You know, four people can easily sit here to play a game or have a meal together, and this drops down into a bed. So if you have additional guests that are staying the night, all you have to do is remove the two legs, the table will sit along the rails, take the cushions on the back, put it in on top, and that will create your sleeping surface there. Windows all the way around, that will help uh, bring in that natural light as well as give you some ventilation. Right in between the dinette and the sofa, you have dual USB ports. Again, as uh, technology advances, more and more people are bringing different electronics, cell phones, tablets. This just makes it easier to charge those devices. Right up top, uh, additional storage. You know, uh, trying to utilize all the space. You have to love that. Then underneath, you have a jackknife style sofa. Uh, the thing I like about this sofa, it's kind of cool. This center part right here actually folds down. So the way it is right now, you have your standard sofa, you can lay down across it, whatever you need to do there. But then you can fold this guy down, you have dual cup holders right there, and it kind of creates almost like a theater seating, which is kind of neat. But as I mentioned, this is jackknife style, so it lifts up. Take a look underneath. The big advantage of a jackknife sofa is you get a ton of storage. That's a great place to put all your extra uh, blankets, sheets, pillows, things like that. And when you need to make this into a bed, you just drop this down. Now again, this doesn't make a huge bed. Most of your adults will probably have to curl up into a ball. But if you have other kids that are staying, uh, this will make a, a good bed for them. Right along this wall is your entertainment center. Uh, this unit does not come with the TV, but you'll see it is all prepped for one. So if you uh, wanna bring one with you, that is where you would have it installed. Multimedia center right down below here. This unit does control the speakers inside as well as the speakers outside, and that is Bluetooth capable. Right over to the side, nice little cubby hole, additional storage right underneath here, as you can see. You also have storage up across the top. You can see that, I'll open that up for you. Same thing right next to it here. Same, uh, same size storage there. And then one of my favorite parts is right underneath. I love that they have put this in. Uh, you know, again, this just goes to show that manufacturers are listening, they're thinking about the consumer and how RVs are being used. You walk in, it's cold, a lot of people like to camp in the fall, you're gonna have jackets, you'll have rain jackets, you'll have sweatshirts. This gives you a spot to take those off and a place to hang them right here. Then underneath, you have this nice little bench seat so you can sit down and put your shoes on. And then you have excellent shoe storage right there underneath. So as I said, you know, your primary shoes, everyone can load up their main shoes or sandals right there. Everything else can kind of get piled over in this side compartment that I had showed you. The bedroom of the 2820 features a walk around queen size bed. There's also easy access storage here right underneath. And so if you have some larger items, you can toss them under there. Both sides of the bed have hanging wardrobe storage, so you have a place to hang your clothes, as well as a shelf across the top here for some folded clothes or any other decor you want to stick up there. Right underneath, LED reading light, and also on both sides of the bed, you have a nice nightstand. You can see it's very open right here. Uh, plenty of room if you have a CPAP machine, you can put it there, because you have electrical outlets on both sides. Also a great place to charge your cell phones or tablets. 
This one side right over here even has a dirty laundry chute. So what you can do is you put your uh, dirty clothes hamper right in your pass through there. When you're done, take your clothes off, toss them right down in, and then that way it tucks away. It's not cluttering up your RV. You'll also notice there are windows on both sides for cross ventilation, and one of them is an emergency exit. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2820BH. Starting right up front, you have the power tongue jack, making it nice and easy to hook up or disconnect from your tow vehicle. You also have a light on there in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. Right behind that are your two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. Very easy to get down in there, just undo the thumb screws and lift up the door. And then behind that you have rails for your battery. It is wide enough you can locate two batteries there. Coming up the front, you have black diamond plating, which helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. So you make our way around to the side here. I'll open up the pass-through storage. You can take a look inside there, see how nice and big it is. You have a very wide door here on the campsite, so it does allow for some larger items like uh, your grills, or if you have wider chairs, you're able to slip them in there. If we take a look underneath real quick, you'll see right here you have power jacks, power stabilizer jacks on both the front and rear, making it very quick and easy to set up and tear down this RV. So not only do you have power tongue jack and power jacks, they also give you a power um, awning here. So just one touch of a button to roll this guy out, one touch to roll it right back in, power everything on this coach. They're trying to make things simple on you. Also underneath that power awning is an LED light strip that is sewn into the awning material itself. The cool thing about that, the reason I like that uh, LED configuration rather than having like a strip on the side of the RV or having it in the barrel is because it doesn't matter if you have your awning open a couple inches or fully extended, you can still use those LED lights. Also, you wear, if you have a strip on the side, it's kind of you know shooting outward. Sure, it's shooting some downward uh, direction too, but by having it sewn in, it is pointing directly down, which again, just gives you a little more light at your campsite itself. As I mentioned, we were inside. You do have two entrances and exits into this RV, your main one being right here, which leads you right in uh, to where your coat hooks and your shoe storage is, the back one there uh, leading into the bathroom. Two speakers underneath the power awning as well. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside. And as I mentioned, it is Bluetooth capable. Electrical outlet right here. So if you need to plug anything in wired outside, that is certainly the place you do it. Making our way to the back here. This is a pretty cool feature too. Most of the time your outside shower is on the back of the RV or on the off door side. They will just put that right here on the camp side. That does have both hot and cold water access. So the reason I like that, especially in a bunk model, you know, a lot of times when I go camping, we generally try to take at least one day to go to the beach with the kids. And when you come back, you can take this hand wand to spray their feet off, make sure they're nice and clean before they enter the RV. Come on back a little bit further here. We'll take a look at the back. You see this one does come with a grill mount. Now this RV does not have the grill itself, just the mount, uh, but this is nice and convenient. All you have to do is buy the grill, put it right on here. You will see that underneath you have a propane quick connect right in front of your power jack there. Uh, so that way you can just hook that up. This does swing out and around. That way it can be on the camp side there. Uh, but that way you can do some cooking outside. You know, you wanna cook some bacon in the morning. Why stink up your camper when you can uh, you know, have the aroma filling up the entire campground, make the whole campground jealous. Right next to that spare tire, this is mounted on the rear bumper here. Hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, you know it's riding right back here nice and safe for you. If you take a look up top in the center, you will see that you have your backup camera prep. Uh, nice thing about having that is it makes it a lot less expensive to have a backup camera installed. I have all the wires and everything are run. At this point, it is essentially just plug and play. As so we come around to the off door side, a couple quick things here. One, your termination is going to hang out right there. You see uh, your valves are on there as well. Right up above that, look at this. Not only do you have that large pass through storage, you have all this storage right here under the bottom bunk. So lots of external storage here on the 2820. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Keystone Summerlin 2820BH. This one has the espresso interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker. 
and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.